beautiful Doug thank you so much wow that was amazing my name is Duke Underwood Pete and I've been friends for a long time I'm not really sure how long I guess we were probably eighth graders or something ninth graders I, a little bit older anyway got to know him real quickly because somehow he and Deron and a couple other guys we formed a band called Solid Rock and they formed a band I guess I got to sing with them I'm not sure how that worked out exactly but but I was blessed to get to sing with them and we had a great time, but the thing I mostly remember about Sister Coakney was uh, the back of her head riding in a van a lot of times because we used to take their van and we would go and sing in different places. We went to Elysian Fields over by Marshall, some other place that I saw the other day driving down the road near some old shut down um, steel mill, and I don't know where it is, but there sat the church, and I said, I remember going there. Pete and Duran and his family, and they went, you know, as a kid, as an eighth or ninth grader, you don't think about who probably paid for the gas. I guess they did. You don't really think about who paid for the food, who paid for, I guess they did, because I didn't do a whole lot of it. Maybe my, my mom, who's here, maybe, maybe she gave me some money. It wasn't anything that I really thought of. All I know is that here was this couple who wanted to minister to us wanted to lead us along. And it went further than that because one day Brother Pete said to me, he said, I, he said, little brother, I want you to come and preach at my church. And I was, I think, 14, 14 or 15. And sure enough, I went to their church and I went to preach. And my father and I spent, Jan took a bunch of us, what happened, to the church. I was part of his youth group. And we went to the church and, and, and man, Growing up as a, what, what we called a, a Methodistal is what I grew up as in, in a Methodist church that were fairly Pentecostal in some ways, filled with the Spirit. But going to Sunshine Tabernacle was an eye-opener for me. And the Lord began to work in my heart. And 
Brother Pete said, little brother, you're going to come and you're going to preach at my church. Told me I was going to do so. And that's what I did. And I went and I stood there. My father and I had prepared that message. We'd gotten it ready. We'd gotten that message ready. We'd worked on it. We'd worked on it. And then I stood up in front of the church, opened my notes, and started in shaking and crying like a baby. Amen. Fourteen, you remember it, don't you, brother? It happened. Shaking and crying like a little old baby. Brother Pete walks up behind me, and I'll never forget, Sister Cody said, Go on, son. Go on, son. Go on. And so I kept trying to go on, and Brother Pete walked up behind me, and he wrapped his arms around me, and he began to pray in the Spirit, pray in tongues, and my father joined him on the other side. He said, he said, Bill, come on up here. They wrapped their arms around me, and they began to pray for me. And they began to seek the Lord for me. Then he asked me to come back the next week, and the next week I had my head together a little more. And i never forget Sister Courtney the whole time. Go on, son. Go on. And if I got too slow, she'd say, go on. And she would always encourage. And you know, whether this is right or not to share, I will. I was divorced two years ago, and she was one of the ladies, one of the, they're one of the couples that you look at. And you know, you, you see when, when as, as you study and explore yourself and think about your life and think about the failures and think about the good things, I remember thinking about Pete's mama and daddy. Because the Bible says that you pray, you look for a suitable helpmeet. Was no greater helpmeet than Dorothy Coton. She shared vision. They shared a vision together for, for people like Jan, people like Deron, and people like me. Come on, son. Come on. Always encouraging. I have always compared every organist to your mother <laughs> ever since whether it be a pipe organ in some large stately church I've been preaching at or whether it be a Hammond somewhere else I've been preaching for 30 years and you know what I still hear, hear Miss Dorothy behind me saying come on son yeah. come on no matter where I am no matter where I preach Let's sing that song. Let's go, guys.